Boom shakalaka, what is up guys? Randall here with Crypto Love. Just finished that Bitcoin $19,000 live stream and wow, what exciting times in Bitcoin. Oh my gosh, ah, it's freaking crazy. It's almost unbelievable. I can't believe it. Wow. So today's episode, we are talking about elect, no, not electronium. Damn it, why does everybody keep asking me about electronium? We were talking about Ethereum. We were talking about Raiden Network. We were talking about Quantstamp. And most importantly, we are talking about CryptoKitties. Now, before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone subscribing out there. Thank you so much to everyone participating. We're building up an awesome community that it just like, I bounce out of bed in the morning, so excited just to come here and interact with you guys, give you guys the best value that I possibly can, and then just have fun. Uh, now, also, thank you to everyone mashing on that like button, and guys, if you are new to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, this Sunday, I don't remember the date, but this Sunday, we're having a uh, web class, a webinar, where I will be talking about the most important stuff in Bitcoin and cryptos for beginners. So specifically for beginners, if you want to be in that, sign up at crypto-love.com slash webinar. Okay, now let's get started. So, in case you guys don't live in a cave with like no internet access, you might be like blown away. Bitcoin at 16,600, actually I didn't refresh this, I should refresh this. $16,747! Whoa! That is just nuts. A month ago, less than six grand. What? Okay. And this isn't like a cryptocurrency, a volatile cryptocurrency. This is a Bitcoin. Now, if you think that, that that's nuts, the $16,747, take a look at these markets, okay? And you can see the price that is trading on in markets, okay? On BitHum, almost 20 grand. And actually, a little bit earlier, here it is, CoinNest, 20 grand. Bitcoin is over 20 grand, okay? All those people who think it's not legit, not gonna be anything, over 20 grand. Do I think John McAfee's gonna have to suck his own dick? Unfortunately not. He is probably right. Do you see that? 20 grand Bitcoin. That's in South Korea, but 20 grand. Blah, 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 blah. Now, okay, let's get on with some more stuff. All right, in case you guys also are living in the cave, you might have heard Ethereum had some issues with the CryptoKitties congestion that's still going on today, okay? Most popular blockchain game called CryptoKitties causing a record-breaking 30,000 transactions stuck and waiting to be processed. Now, Ethereum has is known for some scalability issues. Uh, and with this happening, people are trying to figure out solutions. So the miners are proposing increasing gas limits by about 33%. But that can oftentimes lead to what's called the uncle rate. So basically a bunch of rejected blocks. And that's not good because we don't want to have people working on a smart contract together, working on an agreement together, and then that get rejected later. So that's not a great solution. What are they going to do? Well, potentially increase the cost of the Crypto Kitties game. But I mean, come on, it's such a cute game. Look at all these cute little kitties. Oh my goodness. Oh, you just want to grab them and just be like, wee. Little cute kitties. No wonder everybody wants to do them. They're collectible, they're breedable, they're adorable. Crypto kitties. And most people are just saying, fuck kitties, I hate this bullshit. I want my Ethereum transactions to go through right now. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Now, on to other things. On to, oh, by the way, by the way, guys, in case you didn't know, before, before I had this amazing cryptocurrency YouTube channel, I was a veterinarian. And this kitten right here, right above my head, this uh, grayish one that has two different sized pupils, that is a neurologic kitten, has brain damage. Okay, cool. Just thought you should know. Now, what are we talking about today? We are talking about how, how did this happen? I don't even, oh, page two, there we go. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about how Raiden and Quantstamp are saving Ethereum from Crypto Kitties. Because, here's why. Because I listen to you guys. This is the people's channel, okay? 
what you guys want, that's what I do. Because I love you guys. So, I ask what cryptos you want to know more about. And you said, Quantstamp. You said, Raiden Network. So, this is what we're doing. Because that's what I do. I'm here to make your lives awesome. So we take a look. First thing, we have Ethereum. Okay, Ethereum right now, $436. Look at the Bitcoin comparative, sinking down. All right, people ask me what to do about Ethereum. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, Ethereum, the first smart chain, uh, the first smart contract project on the blockchain, decentralized applications. And granted, it is great. A lot of projects are built on ERC-20 tokens, are built on Ethereum. The one problem with Ethereum right now is scalability. It can only handle like 15 transactions per second and everything is on the same chain, the Ethereum blockchain. Now, just to give you guys an idea, in case you haven't done this research before, but to give you an idea how Bitcoin and Ethereum compare with other transactional things. So Bitcoin, very slow, can only handle three to four transactions per second. But that doesn't matter because it's digital gold. You don't need gold to transact very quickly. Ethereum, however, where we have these smart contracts, we have all these other uh, decentralized applications, all these cryptocurrencies built on their blockchain, can only handle 20 transactions per second. And we're really seeing that right now with these adorable little kitties but only 20 transactions per second all right if we take a look at some other things paypal a very big thing for transactions online 193 transactions per second so that's like 10 times what ethereum can do but then real transactions we have a look at visa 1600 transactions per second and that's necessary when you want to transact now there are some solutions all right the first one raiden network token right now trading at two dollars and 44 cents it saw a spike all the way up to five dollars at a time now it's coming down a little bit all right uh has not been around for that long just since november 8th okay and if you wanted to you could get it on binance huobi KuCoin, Ether Delta. So those are the places that it's available. But what is Raiden Network? Raiden Network is fast, cheap, scalable token transfers for Ethereum. <clears throat> I love it when a cryptocurrency has a very easy to understand explanation of what it does. And it has a very unique and usable use case. Now, how does it work? Well, basically, the thing holding back Ethereum is what's called consensus. So basically on the blockchain, getting every single uh, person, every single node out there knowing what's going on at the same time, that's the holdup. How the Raiden network solves this is by allowing you to basically put the payments in escrow on the blockchain. And then once that's done, you can have multiple different payments back and forth, different parties all over the place off of the blockchain because that way it doesn't need to get consensus of the whole uh, blockchain. And then the final payee can go and pick up that escrow back on the blockchain. So because of that, there's a lot of benefits with it. So first thing is scalable. You can have a lot more stuff going on, okay? You're not gonna have like 100,000 crypto kitties just bog down the whole network. Second, fast, super fast, like ridiculously fast because it's happening all off of the blockchain. Third, it's private. So everybody loves their privacy coins. People sometimes ask me what's my favorite privacy coin and the answer would be either Monero or Zcoin. But uh, yeah, so it's private so people can't actually see that stuff going on. Interoperable, any ERC-20 token. So not just, this isn't going to just benefit Ethereum. This is also going to benefit any other token built on the Ethereum network. Low fees, so almost zero. And then micropayments. So you can, because the fees are so small, you can do teeny little payments, super fast, super scalable. So that's what's going on with Raiden Network. They do have very good videos for explaining it on their website. So check those out if you are looking for it. And the use cases. I mean, this is something that could potentially allow Ethereum to expand quite a bit in terms of retail payments, uh, P2P cash, micropayments, instant token swaps, all of that stuff. All right, so that's one way that we're helping out. Raiden Network 
if Radio Network was in place, uh, definitely would have had some, definitely would not have had these issues with the Crypto Kitties. Now, as for the timeline for the Radio Network being implemented, I honestly don't have an answer to you, for you to that question, but potentially someone could post down below and then I'll pin that comment up top as to when Radio Network will be implemented, will be helping with that stuff. And on to the next one, a lot of requests for coverage of Quantstamp. So Quantstamp is just recently out of the ICO. All right, November 21st, so not very long. And it went up to a high price of 20 cents. Now it's down to 10 cents. But is this a good buy? I don't know. I mean, I think I personally think getting into I like buying ICOs just after they're released is one of the more risky things. So I like to wait 30 days if I'm going to buy it at that point. That because usually what happens right after an ICO is a lot of people who bought it and want to get rid of it, dump it, price shoots up, price shoots back down, and then after 30 days kind of see what's going on with that. Now, what is Quantstamp? Quantstamp is the protocol for securing smart contracts. So just like Radio Network was going to help speed up transactions, this is going to secure smart contracts so they can't be hacked. The reason for this is one of the team members, actually the lead team member, this guy Richard Ma, he was involved in the DAO attack and also the parity attack. So he lost Ethereum both times and he does not want this to happen to you. But how are they going to do this? And I think it's very cool how they're going to do it. They are going to do it by... Um, Actually, I'm going to save that for the white paper. It has a good explanation there in the white paper. But basically, they're going to do security auditing. So there's lots, every, basically every different token out there has smart contracts. All these different contracts have, are, are being made. Now, we want to make sure these contracts can't be hacked. So they can't be breached in some way that would allow them to be fulfilled um, in a way that other than what they're aiming to be fulfilled. And how this is doing it, it's aiming to do it in a cost-effective manner, in a scalable manner, and in a secure manner. And they'll show you how to do that. Now, some things about this. They are involved with Y Combinator, which is like a huge Brainiac type thing out in California, technology, so all of that stuff. Okay, they're involved with that. They do have a brilliant team. They all live together in like a think tank, working on this nonstop. So again, very cool in that fashion, in that regard. Uh, this is how the auditing network is actually going to work. All right, so we have smart contracts. Basically, anyone can create a smart contract, and normally what happens is someone creates a smart contract, then it's there, and then it can either be fulfilled or it can be hacked. What Quantstamp is aiming to do is evaluate all of these smart contracts to make sure that they're unhackable, to make sure that they're verified, so that they're very, it's an, it's an audit on a smart contract. And then once that happens, once they verify them, then the smart contract will go onto the blockchain. This is going to help prevent a bunch of different things like the DAO attack, like the parity attack, like other things like uh, tokens being hacked, ICOs being hacked, all that stuff. This is helping to aim to prevent that type of stuff from happening. Token allocations already happened, so the ICO is over, but, here in the white paper, they do have a lot of different good things here, and we'll briefly go through it. I can show you some interesting things because I know you won't read the white paper on your own. Here is how, here is how they are aiming to uh, secure, to audit the smart contracts. And this is really cool. Number one, they are building a computer program to do it. Okay, so this first dot right here, they're having an automated and upgradable software verification system that checks Solidity programs. So they're going to do it with computer, so basically that removes the human uh, error from it, to, to check for breaches. Very cool. But that's not all. What they're also going to do, which is point number two down here, is they're going to have an automated bounty payout system for people to try and hack it. So they're going to say, hey, try and hack this. We'll actually pay you if you find out breaches. Cool, okay, so there, works on two methods and some other things. Okay, so they have a technology roadmap and I think they have a graph down here somewhere that I'll try and show you. Okay, so the roadmap was actually on the website, but basically where they are on the roadmap, they're just after the token sale. So really they're only in prototype, they're only in testing. They may not have a, a real potentially working project until 
I mean, they're not really going to be testing it until 2018. So this is not something that's going to be available immediately. But what I want to say is both of these projects, right now Quantstamp is worth $58 million and Radian Network is $122 million. If these become the necessary usable programs for Ethereum smart contracts and if Ethereum still remains the number one smart contract platform, these both have insane uh, amounts to grow. So they could see explosive growth if that happens. Now, granted, those are some ifs, but we could see it. Now, just because I can, just because I like to, okay, I'm going to go ahead and play devil's advocate here. All right. So Ethereum right now holds position number two because it is the premier smart contract platform. However, there's some competition and it's up and coming. And I'm not going to lie to you and say Ethereum's going to be there forever. I mean, we all remember Nokia were the, was the best cell phones for a long time. We all remember Netscape was the best uh, search engine for a long time. And uh, so things change. I'm not saying it will, but it's certainly possible. And here's some other things that could do it. Number one, IOTA. Okay, IOTA doesn't have scalability issues. It actually gets better and faster the more people use it. And it's the tangle. Very cool. Here's another one, Cardano, another big one, okay? How about this, Neo? they have a lot of Chinese backing, a lot of the best developers there. Here's a big one that could potentially be very big, EOS, Dan Larimer, already with BitShares, already with uh, Steemit, he had quite a bit of success there. Scalability is built in at the very beginning of EOS and they are ahead of schedule, so that's one to look out for. And then lastly, one of my favorites, Lisk, they have a main chain, they have side chains, so if CryptoKitties block up the side chains, it doesn't affect the main chain. Those are all things that could potentially outdo Ethereum. But I know, big speculation, whatever. Post the trolley comments down below. That's cool. Now, now, if you've made it all the way through this episode, I want to say thank you so much. Uh, if you like this episode, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to mash on that like button. Also, guys, uh, if you are new to Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, Head over to crypto-love.com slash webinar and you'll get to this page and you can just enter your email address right there. Claim your spot for a webinar this Sunday. I'm going to be going over all the beginner stuff for Bitcoin cryptocurrencies so you can get in and you can start making money too. Now, that's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging around. I know you guys want to see those crypto kitties one more time just because they're so darn cute. And there they are. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.